The separations mode in SoftRip SP automatically detects the correct spot colors and process separations to produce for incoming jobs whether files are opened in the RIP by a user or printed directly from application software. To get started, open the Print Setup window. Select a printer from the Printer Model drop-down menu. Select None from the Imaging Configuration drop-down menu and then set the physical connection. Click Edit, then Properties to access the Printer Properties window. Options differ from one print driver to the next. To find out more about your specific print driver options, click Help in the Printer Properties window. Choose a mono print mode to print with a single color. Make sure you select a resolution that accommodates for the UV densities and LPI frequencies you're trying to achieve. The separations mode can only be used with a fixed dot mode, so set the dot type to fixed dot. Select a dot size that accounts for your desired UV density. This will be the primary control for achieving film density. Click OK. On the Imaging Configuration window, select Separations mode, then click the Color Transforms button. From the drop-down menu, select the halftone method you want to use. If you select Precision Stochastic Screens, you can adjust the minimum dot size, select square dots, and more. If you select Wasatch Precision Rosette Screens, you can choose a rosette pattern to match your desired frequency, resolution, and dot shape settings. If you don't find a desired match, you can generate a new screen. You can also select from Stochastic, Rosette, and Hybrid Screening methods to customize a workflow for nearly any separations production process. Once you've selected your halftone method and adjusted your settings, click OK. Click OK again until you are prompted to save your new imaging configuration. Enter a name for your new imaging configuration and click OK. It is highly recommended that you perform a proper linearization before you start printing your separations. Open the file browser and drag an image into the job screen. Note that the six different colors in this image are listed in the Info section. Choose Rip and Print. Move over to the Cues screen. You will see that each of the six screens has been printed. On the right side of the Print queue, there is a separation column. This column will tell you the name of each screen that was printed. Now you're ready to continue producing separations with Wasatch SopDrip SP.